Number three, this is kind of a linchpin, you know, it's his homie, of course, he belonged to it. He was actually number four last year, so I believe he uh, went up a, a space this year. Talk about Tabby Bonet. What did he do this year that warned him to come on this list? She told me that she liked me, complimented on my Nikes. I told her that she dope, but me and her are so unlikely. You're just too gorgeous, babe. I don't need random dudes fighting me. They just too jealous out here, especially when they know we out here. I don't need that attention. Your girlfriend like, no, he didn't. I don't need no Martin Lawrence and Pamela rendition. But anyways, we can kick it, just no real commitment. And I hope you in shape if you even plan on going the distance. Knock, 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 who is this? Oh my God, this girl is vicious. You look better. I think he, he's been, I think he's a legend in this area, man. So, I mean, he, he has been. Big a G's a legend in this area, but why did he get on this list? For the guys that voted for him. Uh, I, I, had him up, I had him up there just off of respect, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> I don't, I'm not really a fan, to be honest. Just <laughs> be honest, real, man. Be honest, keep real. Keeping it real, man. He, he has some, some radio play, and he also has some really quality videos, and I think he's just consistent when he performs like you get your money's worth with Tabby. Um I actually put Tabby on my list, not at that spot, but um I put him on my list one because he signed um well he's with Dame Dash now, so I put him on my list. And um, he has an incredible song, Winners Parade, where I wish he would push more. Yes. If you push him more, I think it would be a hit, Tabby. You need to push that. I don't care what Dave's over. telling you. You need mm -hmm. to really push that song. Um, and then he's just, he's on tour. He's all over. He's on tour with Mars. He's doing something with Adidas. So Tabby definitely deserves that, that spot. I mean, well, not that spot, but, you know, he deserves to be on the list. <laughs> um, just got to ask the question, how many people on this countdown can write on their tax return that they're a rapper? <laughs> like, that's what Tabby Bidet does. With every, <laughs> he does something that nobody else is doing at all times. Like, he's the guy that opens up the door that everybody else in the DMV walks through. Like, that is where he is. That's who he will always be. That's what he always will be doing. And he did it this year. He did it the year before. He did it the year before that. He'll do it next year, too. And it's the exact same thing. So as long as he's around that same spot at all times, People can always look at him and know exactly what it takes to get on this list and what exactly what it takes to be a, a professional career MC. Entice, I'm taking the whole cake while others settle for a thin slice. They don't know about my DNA genotype. Won't ever see me locked, rocking horizontal stripes, skyscraper views. Up here, I swear I could conquer the world in about a day or two. That's my girl, Bubblegum Shoes. Such a beautiful mixture, the scene is fondue. We live in life like we in the sunlight all day and all night. Dreams are lifelike and they come true. This is my. It's, yeah, I definitely agree that Tiger should be this high because he's been doing it for years. He's touring, he has his own fashion line. He has a long uh, um, film company, Cool Kids, that has the DMV on lock on the video, so he definitely deserves to be on the list. Mm -hmm. I mean, we going on music, right? <laughs> I just want to make sure, because that's what I was about to say, because that was actually a great point you put up. But, like, you have two different paths to rap stardom, I guess, or a rap career. You have that commercial path, like Wale. And you have the path where you actually make it your career and you constantly build fans and you basically just have a successful career as an MC and that's what I think Tabby did. And he's continuing to do that. So, you know, even with the touring and he's dropped consistent projects, I, I don't see why you couldn't include him, you know, at the top of the What does Cool Kiss Forever say? <laughs> I don't like to have his hype. No. <laughs> um, no, I mean, like, if you look at the list, like, we've been putting people up and, like, we'll put somebody up and say they were, weren't even on the list last year or they was, you know what I mean? Like, he was one of the few that's, you know, that was in the, pretty much about the same spot. So, if anything else, consistency. Um, and he's, yeah, he makes moves. Like, he's, he's on a, a 53 city tour, like, right now. You know what I mean? Um, and it's, every year he's doing something like this. Like, it's one thing to be good, but to be consistently good, yeah, like, that's, it's hard. It's hard. Like, it's hard. So, like, it's just a testament right there. I, I put Tabby at three on my list. Um, I can respect it if it's at two. Um, you have to think, with, outside of Wale, he's the only rapper that has, like, a serious 53, you know what I'm saying, like a tour around the country, not just in the area, not at 930, and then you go over to U Street, and, and, and you, you know, he has a tour around the country. You know what I'm saying? And I, I love that parachute jump. The video was just, I was sold on the video alone. Like, after I seen the video, I was just like, I love it. I want, like, it's, it's 
he's, he's a pioneer, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's respectable. I, I can see him at two, but three, it, it's okay. I have to see him at two. Okay. Cause now I'm pissing on the game without the seat up. Oh.